Mets and the Phillies. Uh, these teams have played a whole bunch of times already early on this year. They're going to do it again. This time they change the venue and they go to Citizens Bank uh, Park. $1.58 for the Phillies, plus $1.43 if you like the dog here. And the Mets total is eight. Shaded towards the over, minus $1.20 if you like the over in this game. Uh, Walker is going for the Mets and Aaron Nola going for the Phillies today. Um, Aaron Nola, guys, 54 strikeouts against the New York Mets last season and also one start this year where he had nine strikeouts and no walks. I like Nola. I think he's the ace of this uh, this Philly staff here. And Walker, I'm not a fan of uh, whatsoever at all. This guy's lost the last four times that he's taken the mound against uh, the Philadelphia Phillies. Uh, Philly's offense has been producing. They're really they're a top ten uh, offense in uh, many of the major categories, and in, in, uh, specifically scoring uh, uh, you know five runs a game that puts them fifth in Major League Baseball. So uh, I like the Phillies' offense today. I think they get on track. They're starting to to come around a little bit, uh, pretty healthy as well too. And I like Nola. I like you know he knows this these Mets hitters. There's a reason why he has so many uh, you know strikeouts against these guys. A lot of swing and misses. Uh, and especially Walker. I'm not a fan of Walker. Uh, I'm going to take uh, Philadelphia in this game. Base winner? Yeah, this is a play for me. I've, I've, I'd like, I'm going to play the Phillies on the five-inning line, and it's priced at minus 155 on the five-inning line. And I've got a price just with Nola versus Walker at minus 204. So I like that. I don't want to fool around with the Philadelphia bullpen. I think that the, the Mets have... Oh, the Mets are eighth by my ratings in bullpen, and the, the Phillies are 16th, so I don't want to mess around with that bullpen. Yeah, it's hard. It's really hard not to like Nola based on what he's done in his last two starts and, and the, the, his last start against the Mets. Uh, he threw an 81 percentile by my three-metric chart, and then the start prior to that against the Brewers, he was in the 95th percentile. So that's something to, to really like about this game. And then I think uh, with Walker, I have him about league average, 99 base winner run number, which makes sense uh, in the three metric chart. Uh, he's a 109 out of 210. This is pitchers uh, since uh, last July 5th now. And then when you take a look at Nola, he's 16th out of 210. So for all those factors, uh, I think that, that this is a good play on the five inning line. I'm going to go with the Phillies here. All right, uh, Jeff. Yeah, you know, I think, you know, you look at this game and you kind of think to yourself, what's up with this number? I mean, the Mets have been so good all season and, and here they are, you know, getting a nice healthy price back uh, against the Phillies who are 11 and 14. And look, a lot of gamblers are going to just look at that and say, I'm on the Mets here. This is a strong signal to me that the Phillies are the play here. I've said before, I'm not a big NOLA guy. Um, we have to remember last time NOLA pitched, it was against the Mets and the Phillies were no hit in that game. Um, they didn't have a hit in the game. So, you know, Walker, I, I got to give him a little credit, though, as well. He's been very good. He was very good last time out against the Phillies, but the bullpen gave it up, and they lost 4-1. So kind of a couple of weird outings. You know, both pitchers are all obviously pitched well, but, you know, they, they either had a bullpen blow up or, or the team couldn't get a hit. So, I, I don't know. Something tells me the over might be in play here. I, I don't love Nola. And some of these individual hitters for New York – They've seen him a lot. They've got some good numbers. I think they're going to be on base against him. We'll see if he can kind of shut it down when it matters most. I feel like Walker, maybe he's overpitched in a game or two here. Um, uh, something tells me this team might go over. It's like a 5-3 type of game. But I think the number kind of says it all. You're listening to Phillies at 160, a team that is 11-14 and, and have had their own struggles against one of the best teams in baseball on paper. I think a lot of people are going to – you know, get a little plus money and think they have something here. I mean, it's kind of a sucker, but I, I think you guys are right. Well, one thing with, about Walker too, and I, and I realize that uh, his stats will look pretty good in that game where, you know, he only gave up two hits and no runs. It was only five innings, and, but you got to remember, he only struck out two guys and walked one. And there was a lot of hard contact in that game, you know, right. by the fills. And when he uh, pitched, you know, earlier on in the season, uh, you know, he got the start and only went two innings. And it was like they, they took the opener approach with this guy. You know you're not going to get any innings with this guy. So, again, you're going you're gonna to be into the Mets bullpen, you know, pretty early as well, too. You'll probably get some middle relievers today. But I, like, I do like the way uh, the Phillies are swinging the bats right now. And I'll take a shot with them uh, at home here. So lock me in uh, with Philadelphia in this uh, case. 
We'll take the Phillies at minus 158, and base winner is going to take Philly in the first five. It's going to lay a heavy price for that, minus 160, thinking the Phillies will jump on top of Walker early. So those are our two plays in this game. 